Yep. Helps me think. <laughs> Very nice. Yep. So, Clay, we know, uh, you know, there's no official timetable for your return, but, you know, what can you tell us about how you're feeling right now and what you're able to do on the floor at this moment? I mean, I'm feeling great. Um, just working every day like I have been the past two years. Nice. Get a bucket up here. And I'm playing three on three, and I'm pretty much, um, you know, just getting, getting back into that tip-top game shape. Watching this team and the way they're playing, are you able to sit back and tease yourself dreaming about when you're on the floor and how good you actually can be as a team? Oh, yeah, every day. Every day, Mark. I think of uh, playing with Steph, Andre, and uh, Draymond and, and Looney, obviously, because we have so much good history together. And then integrating all our new guys and to see them get off to such a great start this year um, inspires me every day in the weight room. Clay, there's so many guys who've stepped up and, and, you know, found their way as, you know, serious rotation pieces for, for your team. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about Gary Payton II, what he's brought to this group, especially off his performance Wednesday night for a guy who's, you know, the 15th man on your roster this season. Yeah, well, Gary's been fighting and clawing for five years to make his mark in this league, and I think... Um, the other night, that was a culmination of all that work, just to see him picking up full court, playing kind of old school in, in the sense of offensive rebounding and getting in the dunker, and nice shot, dude. And um, just playing above the rim, his athleticism at the one position is incredible, and his defense is a lot like his pops. He doesn't let anybody breathe, and that's what we need off the bench. Watching you on the boat, watching you with Rocco, is, is there anybody in the league enjoying life as much as Clay Thompson? <laughs> um... I don't know. You know, it's kind of that's a good question, Coach. I think for me, it's just when I'm when basketball is not present in my life, uh, it's hard to fulfill that hole. So, the water, the ocean, and Rocco, those are the things that make me the happiest. And luckily, I'm able to experience them almost every day. Clay, what's the thing you miss most about not just being on the floor, but specifically being on the floor with Steph and the way you two vibe off each other on the court? Um, I really miss the winning. <laughs> I miss playing in front of the fans and then just um, playing basketball. I mean, I really love what I do. Uh, I always have since I was a kid. And I have, uh, I think these last two years give me a great sense of appreciation for the work it takes to be be great and uh, my story is still being written so I'm not satisfied with where my career is at I still have many more chapters to write well let me let you know this I had the privilege and honor of coaching you I did not have a vote for the top 75 players <laughs> of all time if I had a vote you would be on the list okay. you had to be disappointed because you are more than deserving of that honor yeah, I, I was uh, disappointed just because, you know, back in 2019, uh, last time I was healthy, wasn't able to make All-NBA and this again, so that's fine. I mean, I voiced my frustration. Now it's time for me to get back on the court and prove them why I should be on that list. And honestly, I think that was meant to happen. What a move. I needed that fuel for the fire. I needed that motivation to come back and be one of the best in the world again. And give Coach Jackson credit. For anybody else, anybody believing in us, Coach Jackson did, and he called me and Steph, greatest shoot, shooting duo of all time, and I mean that that couldn't have come more true, and it's kind of a testament to your ability to read the game. You know, they called you crazy at the time. They still call me crazy <laughs> for other reasons. I appreciate the love, man. Oh, no problem. Very prescient uh, of you, Mark. Hey, hey, Clay, we just saw uh, Pool. Nearly hit a three there. We saw the drive. Asked you about Peyton. How about the job that Jordan Poole has done and the, and the fixture he's become on the floor for this team? Jordan's still growing. He reminds me of myself a lot as a, as a youngster as far as being emotional. And that emotion is tied into his shot baking, and I understand that. And let's not forget, Coach Jackson beat Stephen Curry last time in a shooting contest back in 2013. You preaching, you so. preaching right there, my friend. Don't let that ever be forgotten. <laughs> I think he might have retired after that night. Yeah. Feel free to join us anytime. Yeah, we won't oh, that forget was a great that. Memory. I think it's on the internet. So if any youngster wants to go check it out, coach that game. They will. Clay, thanks so much for the time, oh, my yeah, man. No